this video we'll show you how easy it is for teachers to use Streamer to caption or translate their classroom instructions and conversations. First, I'll show you how to use Streamer. And second, I'll show you how to configure your account. There are many ways you can configure and use Streamer. Here's our recommendation. After you've configured your system, you'll see a desktop icon on your computer for each of your students that are using captioning or translation services. The shortcut shows both the name of the student and the class period in which you are their teacher. To start the captioning for that student, you just click on that icon and turn on your streamer microphone. Let's do that now and see how long it takes. I'll click on the icon for second period Matt Brower. And now I'll click on the microphone. And there, I'm done. And I'm ready for the class. Note that when I clicked on the icon, it brought me directly into the streamer room that the admin department created for Matt. His name is shown right here. Note also that I can close this streamer window and everything that I'm saying is still being captioned. Streamer runs just fine in the background and at the end of the class I'll uncollapse the window and then I'll click the X to close it which then stops the captioning. When it's time for my fifth period class I'll click on this shortcut, the one for Stacy Alders. And now I'm placed directly in Stacy's room and with a click of the mic, everything that I say is being captioned. If I ever want to stop the captioning, I just turn off the mic. Okay, that's how easy it is to use Streamer. Just a click on a desktop icon and a click on the mic. Next, I'll show you how to configure your account, specifically how to create those desktop icons and a few other user tips. If you are not already logged into your Streamer account, let's do that now. Open a Chrome browser, go to www.streamer.center, click on the Login button, and enter the account information your admin team has given you. If this is the first time you have logged into Streamer, you'll need to accept the terms and conditions by clicking on the button in the lower right corner. This then places you in your lobby, which will look something like this. The lobby shows you all the rooms that your streamer admin has given you permission to use. In this example, there are four such rooms, each with a label. This one here is a room for Matt Brower to use for all his classes, and this one is for Stacy Alders. And in this configuration, there is one for announcements and events, such as viewing a captioning of morning announcements, and one for translation events, such as an IEP meeting with a parent who does not speak English. To finish configuring your account, Jump into the room you'll be using by clicking on it, in this case Matt's room. Then create your desktop shortcut. To do that, go to the Chrome Settings menu, select the More Tools option, and then Create Shortcut. Give the shortcut a name, something like Second Period Matt Brower. Then repeat the process for the other rooms you'll be using. Go back to your lobby, click on the room, and create the shortcut. In this case, fifth period Stacy Alders. That's it. Now you can close Streamer and when you want to start captioning, click on the desktop icon and then the Streamer microphone. And while we're in the Chrome settings menu, here's how you can change the font size of the transcript. Just zoom in or out of the web page. Here are some user tips for you to remember. The very first time you click on the microphone, Streamer will ask for permission to use that microphone. Say yes. You only need to do this one time. The side panel on the right shows you who has joined your room. You can use that to see if the student is logged in and is viewing the captioning. Remember to turn on and off the microphone when you want to be captioned. This flashing tab shows you if your microphone is active. You can collapse the streamer window to have it run in the background. If the mic is on, then everything you say will still be captioned. You can share documents with students by dragging and dropping them into the transcript window.
You can send messages to students by typing the at symbol into the command bar, followed by the account name and the message, like this. There, that message will now pop up on Matt's computer. All the messages sent to you are saved in your notifications page, which is located here. You can download a copy of the transcript by going to the Streamer Settings window, like this. You can choose your time period, the format, and also have Streamer scan the transcript to identify the most relevant sentences. Small gives you a very condensed summary, medium a bit larger, and long is basically a Cliff Notes version of the class. Save the transcript to the folder that you have created for your downloads. You can clear the contents of the transcript by typing forward slash clear into the command bar. Per our privacy policy, there is no undo command, so when you clear the transcript, it's gone from everyone's streamer window and it's gone forever. And you can personalize your account, including changing the user account name by clicking on the account settings icon. Here's where you can add a picture of yourself, and here's where you can change your account name and your password. To learn more about using Streamer in classrooms, here's the companion video for students to watch and the one for administrators to watch. And here is a link with much more information on how to use Streamer in academic settings. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and thanks for being part of our team and helping everyone communicate with anyone anywhere, anytime, and in most any language.